The Agricultural Incentives Project of Sand County Foundation uh, got started because uh, we thought it would be valuable to explore the linkage between land management practices and water quality. What the Agricultural Incentives Project uh, aims to do is encourage farmers to apply nutrient management practices to their land and we attempt to evaluate the impact of those nutrient management practices on water quality. We started the project back in about 2004 and we work uh, primarily through local partners here. Uh, in Wisconsin, our primary local partner is UW uh, Extension Discovery Farms. Well, the St. County Foundation contacted the Discovery Farms program about four years ago and they were looking for some um, someone in some organization that could uh, help work with farmers and try and identify practices that might improve um, the amount of nutrient loading that goes into local streams and, and uh, groundwater supplies. And I've been working with farmers in this area for probably about 18 years now and have a lot of good relationships with farmers in the Rock River Basin. So for the most part, Sand County provides incentive, pro incentive payments through their Ag Incentive Program. And I publicize this Ag Incentive Program and work with farmers um, in implementing practices on the land. A cover crop is any crop that's planted in between your main crops. So here in Wisconsin, we plant a cover crop in the, in the fall or late summer. Um, and then it needs to be, if it doesn't winter kill, it needs to either be killed in the spring or in some cases farmer, livestock farmers are harvesting it for, for forage in the spring. And then we plant our main crop right behind it the following spring. And cover crops have um, an awful lot of advantages. Um, they control soil erosion, they scavenge excess nutrients in the soil, making them unavailable to be lost into the environment. They um, add organic matter, they improve soil quality. There's just a long list of benefits for cover crops. Um, but what we also like to do is see if we can't add value to the farmer in an economic way with the cover crops. And so two of the cover crops we've been working with a lot is winter rye seeded after corn silage and clover frost seeded into winter wheat and both of them offer the farmer some added value beyond the soil quality and conservation values. Farmers have found the best way to use cover crops. The, the program gave them that flexibility that we don't have to tell them here's where you plant it, here's when you plant it, here's how you plant it. We let them find out the best ways to, to work with it and I think that's helped to break some of the resistance that we saw initially. First year I started, I planted 50 acres just to try it for a feed stretcher and planted it on some higher erodible land and just wanted to see what it did and uh, how it would yield and what kind of feed results I'd get out of it and the quality of the feed I made it for rileage and that turned out really good. So the second year I planted it, then I put in 200 acres of it, but that I ended up baling it all and feeding it as free choice rye hay and used it for bedding. And that's worked out very well. I wanted to put something down on the ground that I could harvest in the spring and double crop. And this here looked like it would be the thing that I'd like to try, saying that, you know, I could plant it in the fall, harvest in the summer, haul manure out of the pits again, and still have a feed stretcher and put corn on it for silage corn again to be harvested in the fall. So the St. County Incentive Program pays for uh, a good portion of your seeding costs? or It pays for a better majority of the seeding cost if you buy certified seed, if you can buy bin run seed, it basically pays for all the seed and all you really have in it is a little bit of tilling or no tilling of the seeding and the fuel. So yes, it's kind of a no-brainer. So would you do it? Would you do it if there were no incentive payment? I mean, do you like yes, the price? Yes, now I would. Okay. Now cool. I would.